Hey everyone, I just wanted to uh, do a quick tutorial over the final and um, show you what you got. So what we have here is the blank template um, and you can use this and remix it and really demonstrate everything that you've learned about um, blogging, HTML, CSS, making videos, you know, using digital text and tools for lifelong learning. That's that's really the point of this class. Um, some of you have picked uh, specific projects and you want to you'll want to shape that identity. Um, but you have done most of this work already. So the first step is to simply just click the remix button. And uh, it will just launch into um, Thimble that you want. Uh, sorry. And you'll see here, here is our menu. You'll notice it has a, you know, with the um, the menu div right there. You could, if you want to get crazy, um, figure out how to make that left sidebar be a hanging top nav bar, but that's tricky. I'm going to do that in my example. Um, and each one of these pages, so index HTML, we'll link over here to index HTML. The about me page is this about me page right there. All right. You have a couple, the blogs pages, links to over here to blogs. All right. Um, the videos page will link over here to videos. Now, on the index page, with most of this work is already done. So with the about me page, you could, instead of just linking to the blank page in your editor, you could just take this link and switch it out to your published about me page. That's probably the easiest way to do it. If you do do that, I would probably add the um, menu to your about me page so that it will um, show up on, you can link back to your page or just add a link back to home, anything that you want there. What, if you want to get super technical, keeping it all in one project, you can cut and paste your um, About Me page into this page as well. I tried to keep the CSS very similar. Some things might change, um, but if you want, you know, if you do want to change your styles, you know to go to the style CSS sheet. For example, here's the menu items. Um, you can go down, it, you can change anything you want in terms of your font choices, everything that we've worked on in class, you can figure out how to do here. So you're going through the index and you need to add in a little information like this is where you're telling the world about yourself. This is your site, data you control. What do you want them to see on your front page? On the writing page, what you need to do for your blogs is you need to describe three of your favorite posts. Tell me what you enjoyed about them um, and why uh, you felt that th that was the best example of your work this semester. On the video page, you need to include some kind of multimedia that you've developed in class. This could be image editing, um, it could be your screencast that you made. Most people just record their Ignite talks and put that there. But how do you add in video? Well, the easiest thing to do is to either upload it to Google Drive and find an embed code or um, upload it to YouTube and add the embed code. Now, I am willing to help out anyone who asks. Um, however, you'll notice there is no tutorial file like we usually have in our final. And to me, that's okay. Uh, the point of this, um, this assignment is to see how well, hold on one second, is to, to see how well you can do this on your own. And, and part of doing this on your own is recognizing when you don't know something and to know that you'll either seek out another person in class, you'll come find me, you'll just Google something. You just don't shut down and say, oh, I can't do tech and walk away. I'm more, I don't care if you know everything that you're supposed to know in this class. I care more importantly that you know what you don't know and you know how to where to go to ask to find out. Um, so that's, it's, you know, that's what we talk about all semester long. Are you kind of a self-programmable learner? Um, that's what we're looking for. So you can go through those pages and add them all here. And um, when you're done, you can just uh, post it to our Blackboard site. 
that's it. So what does the final need to include? Well, you need to include a minimum three pieces of your writing, uh, some kind of multimedia you created, an about me page, and a home page. Uh, what you do beyond that is absolutely up to you. I will be here on Wednesday um, for design studio time. So like always, you can just drop in and get help. I will also post office hours uh, during finals week where we can also we can come in and hack on your websites. Um, so with that, I'm going to sign off. I've had a wonderful semester. I really hope many of you keep blogging. Uh, I encourage you each to go register your own domain, start taking control of your data, start shaping who you are online, and um, turn those notifications or delete that social media from your phone. Trust me, things will be better in your life overall. Um, with that being said, I look forward to seeing how each of you continue to grow. Bye, all.